I'm not sure there's anything more satisfying than pulling out a dandelion all the way to the root. Oh, dang it. <laughs> There's not much that takes away from a nice, thick, deep green lawn like we've got going on here, quite like weeds do. So today I'm going to show you how to kill broadleaf weeds, more importantly clover and dandelions. And trust me, we have got plenty of it here. Alright, so clover, three leaves just like that, or typically three leaves, maybe you're lucky enough to find a three, four leaf clover. I've never been lucky enough to do that, but it looks just like that. We've got it everywhere here. Um, it typically means a lack of nitrogen, um, and so we did. We, we started putting nitrogen down on this, but I want to kill what is here. And so typically the things that will kill clover will also kill things like wild violet, uh, chickweed, as well as... Come on, you rascal. Come on. Oh, darn it. Dandelions. One of those things that your kids probably absolutely love, but you can't stand them. So the things that we are gonna use to kill the clover in here um, will also take care of the dandelions. So I'm gonna go over some different product options, some that you can find online, some you can find in your big box store, so that you can get to getting after the clover and the dandelions in your lawn. This right here is a three-way herbicide, one that you can find at the big box store, one you can get online, just choose whichever one you want. Um, it, basically what that means is it's got three different active ingredients in here. Both of these have three different active ingredients and what that does is it is it gives you a more broad spectrum of broadleaf weed control. And so really when it comes down to it, a three-way herbicide like one of these right here is going to kill the majority of the weeds that you encounter. Clover, dandelion, creeping charlie, all this stuff, it's going to be taken care of by something like this right here. Over here, this is mesotrione, same thing as tenacity, um, and a lot of people will probably ask about this. I like to use this for two reasons. One, seeding. This is a good pre-emergent that you can water in, and it will prevent weeds from germinating. It will not prevent your good grass seed from growing. I do not like to use this as general weed control. It will kill crabgrass, clover, and a few other things, but it is uh, more expensive than using something like this. Um, and so I like to only really use this for nimble will. If you have nimble will, and we have a lot of nimble will here we'll take care of. That's for a different video. Really pre-emergent and nimble will is the only thing I like to use this for because this right here is way more cost effective. All right, so I'm mixing it up in my backpack sprayer. If you are using something that is a selective herbicide, like one of these three-way herbicides here, this triad, for example, um, it is a selective, I mean, it's, it's selective about what it kills, so it won't kill your grass. You're fine to mix this in your regular sprayer, clean it out good after you're done, go back to using it regularly for fertilizer or whatever. If you're using something like Roundup, glyphosate, a non-selective, which means it kills basically anything it touches, weeds and grass, I would recommend using a separate sprayer because that can get embedded in the plastic and then even though you think you wash it out real good you come back out here spray your fertilizer you think you're doing a great job on your lawn giving it what it wants and then it's dead so be careful with that um, also if you're just spot spraying which means you don't have them all throughout your lawn like we have here it's everywhere here but if you just have some here and there you can just get a cheap little two gallon sprayer like this mix it up um, and then you're, you're going to be fine there so i have it all throughout here so i'm doing a blanket spray which means i'm mixing up enough here to cover the entire area. I'm going to cover it all and we're going to let it be. So one and a half ounces of this triad per thousand square feet. We are good there. Now I'm going to add a surfactant. Basically what that does is you mix it in here and then it helps coat the grass blades. It helps the, break the surface tension of the water or your mixture here so that it sticks to the grass blades or sticks to the weeds that you're trying to spray and just helps get a better, more effective, quicker kill. So four teaspoons per gallon. We're just gonna do a little, little bit of that. Oh. All right, so once you have that guy mixed up there, Really all it is to it is just to go, lay a blanket spray down, let it rest, keep pets, kids, 
everything off the grass until it dries. Once it dries, you're good to go. So if you can see those water droplets on there, we don't want to get it absolutely soaked. We just want it moist. We just want to spray a fine mist on there, spray it, move on. Come take a look at this. All right, so we are back. It has been five days since we sprayed the triad on here and some of these weeds are smoked. All right, so we had clover, if you remember. We had it literally all over this place. We also had some dandelions. And so if you look down in here, the dandelions are all falling over. They are pretty much all smoked. And all throughout here, you can see all of this clover is just turning brown. It's wilting already. It is absolutely cooked. Um, now it's not obviously completely dead because it's still here and there's still some green, but it's only been five days. Here's another good spot right here. If you see all this, see how wilted this stuff is? It is just crumbling. We put a hurting on it. So all you have to do here, now some spots might require retreatment. Check the label, whatever product you're using. If you go to Lowe's and get one of those, um, make sure you get a three-way herbicide, like I said and uh, check the label follow the label directions it will tell you when to do a repeat application and how many you're allowed to do for this triad we need to wait 30 days um, and and we only want to do two applications max and that will smoke anything that is left in here getting bombed back there by my dog taking a dump. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. If not, get out there, get your weeds under control, and we'll see you in the next one.